max set A. In 571,039, the digit 7 stands for, so we have 571039. We bring down the 7, bring down 0, 0, 0, 0, 70,000. Similar to this, so question 1, answer is 3. Question 2. How many quarters are there in 5 and a half? K okay, quarters is actually 1 over 4. So 5 and a half is the same as 5. 2 over 4 is the same as how many over 4? 5 times 4, 20. 20 plus 2, 22. So you have 22 quarters. 22. Answer for question 2 is... Question 3. How many right angles are there in the figure below? Okay, before I go on, if you remember Mr. Seal said before that if the options look very weird, they, don't, they are not like from smallest to the biggest, then you know that the answers are roughly between 6 and 3. Okay, so let's take a look at the figure first. Okay, this is right one right angle here. 2, 3. Okay, there's no more other right angles, so your answer is 3. Okay, question 3, answer is 3. Question 4. How many pairs of parallel lines are there in the figure? Okay, always remember parallel line means there are two straight lines that never touches each, each other. From here, the very first obvious one is this line. These two pairs are parallel lines. The other next pair of parallel lines actually belongs to here and here. Alright, and the last one is here, this line, and this line. So altogether, there's three pairs of parallel line. So your answer is option three. Three pairs of parallel line. In the rectangle below, not drawn to scale, what is the possible value of angle CAB? First of all, we know that it's not the possible to be 90 degrees. All right. We also know that it cannot be um, 75 degrees. All right it looks very uh, much smaller another thing if you remember mr Su said before that if there is a square okay, this must be a square square meaning four sides are equal and then i cut in between here is 45 degrees but if i have a rectangle all right and i cut it in between here is not 45 degrees so you can cancel with option two two so question five answer must be one Question 6. 7 plus 17 over 100 is equals to 7 plus. Okay, so 17 over 100, I have 20, which means 0 0.2 decimal place, 7. So this is 7.17. 7 7.17, this is the same as this. So for question 6, answer is 3. Question 7. Round off this to the nearest 10. 26.879. Nearest 10 is this place. We look at the next door neighbor, which is 7. So you round it off. It's more than 5. So we have 26.9. 26.9. We link. This is option 2. Question 7. Your answer is 2. How many hundreds are there in 8.14? Okay. The hundreds must be 0 0.01 alright so that's two decimal places so we move back one two we'll have 814 okay so answer for question it is three okay question nine Mrs. Peng bought a skirt for $39.95 and a blouse for $35. How much did she pay? So, so we add them up together. Alright. Plus 35. Okay, always remember we draw a decimal line. Dot. Alright. 95. 9 plus 5 is 14. 74.95 cents. Alright, go so question 9. Answer is 4. Express 183 minutes in hours and minutes. Okay, first of all, we must remember that 
1 hour give me 60 minutes so 183 we have actually 60 120 180 and 3 that will be 1 hour 1 hour 1 hour and 3 minutes so when you add them up you should get 3 hour 3 minutes okay so question 10 so is 3 Question 11. Tom is 1.58 meter tall. Find the height of the stool. Okay, so Tom is 1.58 meter. I need to find out from here to here. So I take 2.38 minus 1.58. Alright, make sure my decimal line. 8 minus 8 is 0. Borrow 1. 13 minus 5 is 8, 0. So 0 0.80. Question 11, answer is 1. Question 12. Annie bought 432 oranges. She threw away 8 rotten ones and packed the rest equal to 4 boxes. How many oranges were there in each pack? So first of all, you have to take 432 minus away 8 first. Okay, we're left with 424 oranges. They pack equal into 4 boxes. 4, 1, minus 4, 0, 2, 0, 4, 6, 12, 18, 24, 6. Okay, so 1, 0, 6, you see, yes, option 3. Question 13. 3 quarter of a number is 24. What is the number? Okay, 3 quarter of a number is 24 means 3 unit, you get 24. 1 unit, you get 8, 16, 8. All together, the total denominator, right? There's 4 units. So we take 8 times 4. We get 32. So 32 is the answer. Question 13. Answer is 4. Question 14. The figure below not drawn to scale is made of two rectangles. Okay? They say two rectangles, meaning this is a it's not a square. You cannot assume that this is 10 cm, alright? Okay. If this is 7, alright, whole thing here is 16. From here to here, it must be 16 minus 7. Uh, that will give you 9. Alright, um, so question 14. Okay, they ask you for this. This is similar. So the answer is 9. So question 14, answer is 2. <coughs> question 15. Express 3, 2 over 25 as a decimal. Okay, remember when you change it to decimal, the base must be 10 or 100. So 3, 2 over 25 is the same as 3 times 4 times 4, we get 8 over 100. Okay, this is 3, 2 zeros, that means 2 decimal places. 8 bring over 0, 8, 3.08. Okay, question 15, your answer is... Question 15, your answer is 1. Question 16. Arrange these numbers in descending order. Descending order means from big to small. Okay, so we take a look. Okay, 4, 3 over 5 is the same as 4, 6 over 10. It's the same as 4.6. So from the biggest to, to the smallest, 4, 3 over 5 must start first. Okay, you look at the four options. Only first one, whereby 4, 3 over 5 is the first one. So question 16. Your answer must be... 1. Okay, question 17. The thickness of each dictionary is 2.8. What's the thickness of 8 such dictionaries? So it's actually 2.8 times 8. Alright, remember your line for a decimal point. 8, 8, 64. 8 times 2 is 16. 16 plus 6 is 22. So 22.4. Question 17, your answer is 4. Now we move to the next question. Four bakers shed 562.56 kg of flour equally. How much flour will each baker receive? Correct your answer to one decimal, please. Please do not just stop here. Read the full question, okay? The whole question. So first of all, we have 562.56, okay? Divided by four. All right, remember your decimal point here, one. 
Okay, you bring down your 6, here will be 4, 4 times 4 minus 16, 0. You bring down a 2, here will be a 0. You bring down a 5, 4 times 6, 12, 18, 24, 6, minus 24, 16, 4, 4. So we have 1, 4, 0, 0. 0.64. But they want one decimal place, which is this. Look at the next door neighbor. It's less than 5, so it's 140.6. Looking at your answer there, hundred and forty point six. Answer one. Question eighteen. Your answer is one. Then we move down to question nineteen now. Farhan spent sixteen dollars and ninety-five cents on three books and five pen. If a book costs one dollar and twenty-five cents more than a pen, find the cost of a pen. Okay, so same thing. This one we'll do something like this. We have book one, book two. Book 3, pen 1, pen 2, pen 3, pen 4, pen 5. Alright, okay. Uh, this is 1 unit, 1 unit, 1 unit, plus $1.25 more. Okay, this is how it looks like. While the pens will all just be 1 unit, 1 unit, 1 unit, 1 unit, 1 unit. All together, this is $16.95. Okay, the first step, what we must do is we must take away this 3. Alright, so we have 1.25 times 3. Okay, bring down my dollar point. 3 times 5, 5, 1, 15, 6, 7, $3.75. $16.95, so we must take away $3.75 first. 16.95 minus 3.75. 0, 2. Thirteen dollars and twenty cents. How many units are there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So eight units will give me thirteen dollars and twenty cents. One unit. Okay, we gotta find what's one unit. So we have thirteen point two zero divided by eight. All right, we must have our point first. One minus eight five. Bring down a two. Um, 6 minus 48 okay 52 minus 48 we get 4 going down to 0 this is 5 so 1 unit is 1.65 and what's the cost of a pen a pen is only 1 unit $1.65 okay so question 19 answer is 1 question 19 answer is 1 we move on to the last MCQ question Helen was revising for her exams from 1355, which is 155, okay, 155 p.m. to 405 p.m. During the revision, she took a 15 minutes break. How long did she spend revising? Okay, so first of all, we have hour, minute, 1605 minus 1355. Okay, we minus first. I borrowed 1 hour, it's actually 60 plus 5. 65 minus 55 is 10, 2. Okay, 2 hour and 10 minutes. But do not forget that she took a 15 minutes break. So we have to take okay, another hour, minute, 2, 10 minus 15 minutes break. Borrow 1. 60 plus 10 is 70. 70 minus 15 will give you 55. What? 1 hour and 55 minutes Looking at options there 1 hour 55 minutes That's the only option Question 20 Answer is 1 Okay, we move on to the next section Question 21 What is the best estimate for 609 times 83? Okay, so 609 Okay, the nearest is about 600 83 is about 80 Okay, it goes to 1, 2, 3, there's 3 zeros there, so 1, 2, 3, 0, 6 and 8, 8 times 5, 40, 48. Okay, so our answer is 48,000. So the first question, our answer is 48,000. Okay, we move on to the next question now. Okay, 22. Look at the figure below. How many more stars must be added so that stars is half of the total shape? Okay. Half of the total shape meaning that I must have the other half must be the heart shapes. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so altogether we have eight hearts, which means we need to have um, eight stars as well to have half. How many stars do we have? One, two, three, four. So
so we have 8 minus 4, 4. We need 4 more stars so that the whole shape is half. Okay, we move on to question 23. Uh, a, B, C, D and C, D, E, F are identical squares. That means all squares, meaning all sides are equal. So this 10, this 10, 10, 10, 10, 10. Okay, the length of AB is then find the parameter of ABEF. Pari parameter meaning the total length of the figure. Okay, or covering the figure. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 10 times 6 equals to 60. So our answer is 60 meter. Question 23 answer is 60 meter. Okay, we move on to this now. Write the decimal represented by A. Okay, this is actually 0 0.40. 0 0.50 here will be 0 0.4567 here will be 0 0.47 is the answer okay we move on to number 25 find the missing number in the number pattern below okay here you notice that they plus 1.2 here also plus 1.2 here if you plus 1.2 it will be 8.6 plus 1.2 8 9 9.8 okay so question number 25 your answer is 9.8 <coughs> question 26 a notebook and two pen cost two dollars and fifty cents so you must always do this one notebook plus two pen give you two dollars and fifty cents now they want to have three such books and six such pens so three notebook plus six such pen they are asking you how much okay if you see carefully okay one times three will give you three notebook two times three will give you six pen so two dollars and fifty cents you times three you should get the answer so two dollars and fifty cents times three please remember your line again zero fifteen six seven seven dollars and fifty cents please be very careful that this is dollar so there must be two decimal spaces Okay, we move down to the next one, question 27. The total height of Maurice, Tom and Henry is 4.2. Maurice and Tom is 2.6. Maurice and Henry is 3 meter. What is Maurice's height? Okay, first of all, so we have M plus Tom plus Henry. This will give me 4.2 meter. Okay, Maurice and Tom is 2.6 meter. So, Maurice and Tom, this is 2.6 meter. Can we find what's Henry? Yes. So we get 4.2 minus 2.6. Okay, decimal point here, I borrowed. 12 minus 6 will be 6. 3 minus 2 will be 1. So Henry is actually 1.6. <coughs> now they say that Maurice plus Henry will give you 3 meter. We already know that Henry is 1.6. So how do you find Maurice? We take 3 minus 1.6. Okay, 1.4. So number 27, what is Maurice's height? Maurice's height is 1.4 meter. Okay, question 28. Okay, Jin Heng poured some orange juice into four identical bottles. Each bottle contained 1.35 liter. If there was 0 0.8, how much do you have at first? So okay, this question is like this. I have 1, 2, 3, 4. Four bottles, each have 1.35, 1.35, 1.35, 1.35. At the end of it, I still left over with 0 0.8. They asked how much did I have at first. So our first step will be 1.35 times 4. <coughs> the dot here must be here. 4 times 5 is 20. 4, 8, 12, 14. 5.40 please do not forget our 0 0.8 okay 0 0.8 okay 4 12 6 6.2 okay so for question 28 our answer is 6.2 Bala watched a movie in cinema the movie lasted 1 hour and 45 minutes after that he took half an hour to travel home if he reached home at 11 o'clock what time did the movie started? Okay, so uh, let's see. Okay, Bala reaches home at 2300. He took half an hour to travel from the 
cinema and the movie took 1 hour 45 minute before it starts okay so we got to do backwards we got a minus so 2300 zero, zero, right uh, we have to minus uh, half an hour okay so minus half an hour okay borrow 2260 okay so um, this the show ended at 10 30 all right and it took one hour 45 minutes so we should have our hour minute two two three zero minus one hour and 45 minutes borrow 21 60 plus 30 is 90 90 minus 45 is 45 two zero so the movie started at two zero four five this is the 24 hour clock format all right so question 29 it started at 2045 or you can tell me your answer as 8.45 p.m. Since the question did not state the answer, your give your answers in the 24-hour clock format. Okay, uh, question 30. The bar below showed the number of students who visited the school bookshop for the first four months in 2012. Okay, we have to study and answer question 30. Okay, express the number of students who visited the school bookshop in March. Okay, so let's look at March first. March 250 went, okay, as a fraction of the total number of students who visited the bookshop in February and April. Okay, so we have March over February plus April. Okay, March we already know is 250. Okay, let's take a look at February. February will be 400 students. While April will be 50, 40 plus 50 will be 450. Okay, take away the 20, so I'll have 25 over 45. I divided by 5 because they want simplest form. There will be 5 over 9. So, question 30, my answer is 5 over 9. Question 31. The total mass of two sacks of rice is 42. The mass of one of the sack of rice is 3 over 4 the mass. Okay, so we got rice 1, rice 2. Okay, rice 1 is 3 quarter of the other, meaning this is, it has 3 units. While rice 2 has 4 units. That's why it's 3 units out of 4. Okay, all together they are 42 kg. So from here, using the units method, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 7 units equals to 42. 1 unit would be equals to 6. What is the mass of the heavier sack? Heavier sack will be rise to be 1, 2, 3, 4. There will be 4 units. So 6 times 4 equals to 6, 12, 18, 24. So your answer for question 31 would be 24 kg. Question 32. Okay, uh, before we go on, we should know that our clock will have 12, 1, 2, 3 o'clock, 6 o'clock, 9 o'clock. Our clock moves up in this direction. This is called the clockwise direction. All right. So, Alan is facing the school now. Okay, Alan is facing this direction now. He has to make a how many degrees clockwise? Clockwise meaning he has to turn this direction. Okay, in order to face the restaurant. This is where we want to be. Okay, so uh, we do know that. Okay, you see, uh, here is 90 degrees. So, half of it here must be 45 degrees. 45 degrees. 45 degrees. I have to turn all the way before I reach the restaurant. So we have um, 45 degrees times 3. That will give us 135 degrees. So your answer here will be 135 uh, degrees. Please don't forget your units. That's our unit of degree. Okay, question 33. One of the lines is perpendicular. Perpendicular meaning if you join the two lines together, you have a right angle like this. Alright, so to CE. So if you look carefully, AD will be perpendicular to the line CD. So your answer here is AD. Question 34. Susan wants to buy a pencil case that costs $3.50. She has $3.50 cents coins and $4.20 cents coins. How much more money? Okay, meaning that she do not have enough. So three fifty cent coin is fifty cents, one dollar one fifty. So one dollar and fifty cents there. Four twenty cent coins that will give me eighty cents. Okay, so if you plus them together, 
okay you should get two dollars and thirty cents the pencil case is three dollar and fifty so three dollar and fifty cents minus two dollars and thirty cents okay, right twenty one so uh, number question 34 Susan need one dollar and twenty cents more okay let's move on to question 35 it shows the charges for bicycle renter he rented a bicycle from 10 30 a.m. in the morning to 12 30 p.m. in the noon time so how much does he have to pay so we look at how many how long did uh, they rent the bicycle first all right minus 10 30 okay that would be two hour all right two hour okay so there's first hour and we have the second hour first hour you have to pay two dollars all right and then additional 30 minutes half an hour you pay 60 cents so the next one hour you got to pay 60 cents times two that will give me one dollar and twenty cents add them up the total cost of rental will be three dollar and twenty cents three dollar and twenty cents so question 35 answer is three dollars and twenty cents question 36 a box with three cartons of milk weigh two point three kg a box and a carton of milk weigh zero point nine what is the mass of the box okay for this type of question you must always write out so one box plus three milk will give you two point three a box and a carton of milk weighs zero point nine so one box plus one milk will give you 0 0.9 okay if you minus away one box minus one box okay you got zero box left three milk minus one milk you got two milk okay 2.3 minus 0 0.9 okay we borrow 13 minus 9 is 4 1.4 so one milk is actually 0 0.7 all right now if this is 0 0.7 here all right 0 0.9 the box must be 0 0.2 so we have our final answer here for question 36 0 0.2 kg okay question 37 the mass of a dining table and eight identical identical meaning same okay chairs is 93 kg the dining table is 61.5 kg heavier than each dining chair find the mass okay for this question you have something like that table and I have eight chairs so chair one chair two chair three chair four chair five chair six chair seven chair eight all right okay and we know that all right this one is one unit or have one unit first but the table is 61.5 kg heavier and all together this is 93 kg so what we must always do is we must take out the extra number first all right so we have 93.00 minus 61.500 borrow 92.10513 okay so this all these units equals to 31.5 how many units are there will be eight chairs plus table so it's nine units so nine units is 31.5 if I was one unit first 31.5 we divided by 9 all right so okay the point here 9 18 27 3 minus 27 we have 4 you bring down the 5 it will be here 5 9 times 5 is 45 so one unit is 3.5 total mass of the 8 chest so they want 8 units so it'll be 3.5 times 8 all right answer would be okay uh, we find a space here 3.5 times 8 always remember your line all right 8 times 5 is 40 8 times 3 8 16 24 24 plus 4 28 so this is equals to 28 question 37 answer 28 kg question 38 Zoe needs two meter of ribbons to tie a parcel. She wanted to tie up four identical, that means same parcels for a friend. How much would she spend if if it costs 1.75 meter okay, per parcel? Okay, one parcel, all right, you need two meter. Alright, so there's four parcels, you need eight meter, right? 
1 meter is $1.75, so 8 meter will just be 8 times 1.75, and that will give you your answer. Okay, looking at the working, 1.75 times 8, okay, remember our line first, 8 times 5 is 40, 8 times 7 is 56, 56 plus 4 will be 60, 8 times 1 is 8, 8 plus 6 is 14, so it will be 14 dollars. Question 38, they need $14. If you put 14.00, it's okay. Alright, $14. Okay, question 39. The figure below is made up of two square. Okay, so AB is twice as long as AE. So which means AB is actually 10. So here's another 5. Okay, so these four sides are actually equal. So this will be 5, 5, 5. Alright, this side is equals to this side is equals to the longer end. Here will be 10, 10, and here is actually 5. 5 the parameter of A, B, C, D. A, B, C, D. Okay, so it's very easy. It's just 10, 10, 10, 10. So that will be 10 times 4 is equals to 40. Your answer 40 centimeter parameter. Remember, parameter means the length of the whole figure from the outside. Okay, the outside. Okay, we move on to question 40 now. Mr. Ahmad drove from Singapore to Malacca at 9.20. Okay, so Singapore. He starts driving at 9.20. Okay, after driving for 1 hour 45 minutes, he rested. Okay, he rests here for 20 minutes. Okay, he rested for 20 minutes. Before he continued his journey, 2 hours 10 minutes more, and finally reached Malacca. So they asked, what time did he reach Malacca? So you've got to add up all the timing. Okay, so let's do it step by step. Okay, at 9.20 he set off. He drove for 1 hour and 45 minutes first. So 1 hour 45 minutes first. Okay, do you have 65, 10. This is 60 and 5. So your final answer should be 11.05. So... He drove from Singapore, he drove for 1 hour 45 minutes. When he rest, it was 11.05. Alright, so 11.05, he took a 20 minute break. Okay, so 11.25, he rest finished and he continued to drive to Malacca at 11.25. So hour minute, 11.25, 2 hour 10 minutes. Okay, 35 13. So when he reached Malacca, it was 1335. Okay. Or you could say um, he reached at 135 pm. Alright. Okay, since they did not mention whether they want you to give 24 hours, but I would suggest that you give this answer easier. Okay. So yeah, you gotta take step by step and add up all the timing. Please do your timeline so that uh, it'll be it'll show you very clearly. Okay, we move on to section C now. Okay, the problem sum part. Mrs. Lim went to the market with $47.80. She bought a hand for $5.50. Okay, so hand cost her $5.50. A duck, okay, cost her $7.90. She spent her remaining money on 8 kg of beef. Find the cost of 1 kg. Okay, first we find what's the total cost of the hand and the duck first. So 550 plus 790. Remember your line, alright? So 0, 14, uh, 7, 8, 9, 10, 13. So this 2 will cost $13.40. Okay, so she bought hen, she bought duck, and she bought beef. Alright? All together. This one is $13.40. Okay. All together, she bought it for $47.80. Will you be able to find out what about the beef? Okay, so you take $47.80 minus away $13.40. Okay, so you have to do again working. Okay, please make sure you're working, you do properly. Huh? Okay, that'll be 40, 4, 3. $34.40, let me check, okay, $34, that's for beef, but beef, how many kg she bought? 
8 kg and they want you to find only 1 kg which means 8 kg of beef will cost me $34.40 I want to find what's 1 kg so I'll take $34.40 divided by 8 alright okay yeah, doing working here at a space so we have $34.40 divided by 8 okay remember our decimal point first 8 16 24 32 4 times 8 is 32 8 24 bring down 8 16 24 3 minus 24 okay, we have a 0 0 so 1 kg is $4.30 so for question 41, find the cost of 1 kg of beef, your answer will be, don't forget your dollar sign, $4.30. Okay, this will be your answer. Okay, question 42. There are 285 coins in box A and 119 coins in box B. So we got box A, we have box B, A, we have... 285 while B we have 119 so let's find out what's the total first so 285 plus 119 okay this is 14 8 9 10 2 3 4 so all together there's 404 coins here okay so you have to write your number statements okay 404 how many coins must be removed from A and put into B so that B will have 30 more? So we need to have uh, uh, at the end, okay, at the end, uh, ending, A having one unit, B having one unit and 30 more coins than A. Okay, remember the total number of coins did not change. How do you find out uh, how much is one unit? We take away 30 first, minus 30, okay, it goes to 404. Minus 30, 4, 3, 10, 7, 374. Units method, 2 units is 374. 1 unit will be 374 divided by 2. That will give me, okay, 374. I divided by 2. 1 minus 2. 1, I bring down my 7. 8, 16. I bring down my 4, 7. 187. Which means... Okay, this A must have 187 left. Now, let's look at the A original. A, originally, A has 285. How do I get to 187? I'll take 285 minus 187. Alright, 285 minus 187. Borrow, 7. 15 minus 7 will be 8. Borrow, 9. 98. So, I must take... 98 coins from A trans uh, and give it to B in order for B to have 30 more than A. So my final answer here is 98. Okay, so if you uh, still don't understand this question, please replay the whole video again uh, of this segment here and uh, listen again. Okay, question 43. Wilfred paid $44,500 for two watches and three gold rings. Each gold ring cost one third as much as a watch. How much did he pay? Okay, for this type of question, we always start with uh, the same way. Two watches, so we have watch one, watch two, three gold ring, gold ring one, gold ring two, gold ring three. All together, this is equals to $4,500. Okay, we know that each gold ring costs one third as much as a watch, which means the gold ring is cheaper than a watch. That means the watch is three units. The gold ring must be one unit. That's how we get one third. Okay, so this is also three unit, one unit, one unit. Now you look at this model here. Can you get a units method? You can, right? So three plus three is six, seven, eight, nine. We have nine units giving us 4,500. You gotta find out what's one unit. 9 times 5 is uh, 45 okay, so just one unit is actually $500 how much did he pay for each watch okay so watch is how many units 3 units so we need to find 3 units here that will be 1500 so your final answer here please do not forget your dollar sign again $1500 that's your answer for question 40
3. Okay, question 44. Ali have a total of 22 coins in his piggy bank. They are made of either 20 cent or 50 cent coins. The total amount of money is 740. How many 50 cent coins are there in Ali's piggy bank? Okay, there's two different ways to, to do this uh, question. Okay, the first method will be guess and check. Alright, so you must draw your table for your guess and check. So there's two different types. So you have your 20 cent coins. You also have your 50 cent coins. Alright, okay, the number of 20 cents and 50 cent coins must add up to 22 coins. Alright, and we have a check box. And your check, you need to read $7.40. Okay, let's take a look. Well, if I have 11 20 cent coins, I must have 11 50 cent coins so that I have a 22 coins in total. So I times 0 0.2. Okay, that will be $2.20. I times 50 cents. That will be $5.50. Altogether, I'll have $7.70. That is not uh, what I want. I need lesser amount of money. So I will have a uh, lesser amount of money. So I increase. If I have 12 coins here, I must have 10 50 cent coins. So that 12 plus 10 gives me 22 times 0 0.2. Uh, this would be $2.40 times 50 cents. This would be $5. So $2.45 for $5 would be $7.40. Yes, I've got my answer ready. So how many 50 cent coins are there? 10. Okay, your final answer for this question is actually 10. So this is how the table will look like. Okay, back to question 44. There's another method called the assumption method. Okay, I'm just going to go through quickly. Hope that you know. Okay, first of all, you always find out what's the maximum first. Okay, so maximum is what if all 22 coins are 50 cents? That will give us $11. We always find the difference. Alright, so we have $11 minus $740. That will give us the $3.60. Okay, that's the difference. Okay, how did I get this 30 cents is... We have 20 cent coins and we have 50 cent coins in the piggy bank. What's the difference between them? 30 cents. So we take 360 divided by 30, we get 12 coins. This 12 coins is actually 12 20 cent coins. And that's how you can get your answer of 10 50 cent coins also using the method of assumption. So there's two different methods for you to choose. But you must always double check okay, and see which method is uh, correct. Okay, when it is 7.45 in Singapore, it is 9.45 in Sydney, Australia. Alright, so you know that Australia time is 2 hours, okay, later than Singapore. Alright, because you see 7.45, 9.45, that's 2 hours later. A group of tourists took a flight from Singapore to Sydney at 7.45. The flight lasted 8 hours and 10 minutes. So first stop, we should have hour, minute. Okay, 7.45 plus 8 hour and 10 minutes, 55, 15.55. This is actually Singapore time, alright? Just remember, because this is Singapore time, okay? Now, what time was it in Sydney when the flag landed? Sydney timing is 2 hours later than Singapore time. So if you want uh, Australia time, which is 2 hours later, you got to plus 2 hours. So Australia timing is actually 17.55. So your final answer, okay, you should put 17.55 or 5.55 p.m. Okay, thank you. That's the end of this paper.